once upon a time, I had a real job, a real career, and was real miserable. Tonight, I share with you my 850 new friends, the story of how I left it all behind in pursuit of a crazy dream. See, we all had dreams as kids, and mine was definitely music. I remember declaring to the universe at age eight that I wanted to be a singer, but I also said a lot of other really stupid things when I was eight, and that coupled with the way I dressed, no one really took me seriously. The seeds of music were planted by my grandmother. She inspired both my mother and I to play the piano, sing, and participate in musicals. Thanks to the two of them, music was a constant in my life, although it never really took center stage. At age 18, I bought my first guitar, but I never really learned to play it very well. I auditioned three times for the musical theater program at my university, but was never accepted. Rejected, instead, I graduated with a humanities degree before I moved to Arizona. As the waves of life and responsibility, but mostly fear and doubt, began to crash upon me, my dream of pursuing music sank into the sand. I spent the next several years feeling quite turned upside down and searching for purpose. Until one fateful camping trip when, for the first time, I played and sang the few songs that I knew in front of some friends. Over the next week, they reached out to me and encouraged me to pursue music further. So I finally did. I started taking guitar lessons and playing at open mic nights. And when I first started, I sucked. I would shake so badly I could hardly see, much less sing and play, but I knew that if I persisted, it would pass, and it sure did. I decided I needed a new guitar, and I took two friends with me to shop. The first one said, you're a beginner, go cheap. But the other friend said, it's not about where you are, it's about where you're going, stupid, go pro. So I went pro. <laughs> And that beautiful sounding instrument inspired me to practice, sometimes up to eight hours a day, even on a work night. I played one to two, two to three open mics per week, and that guitar went everywhere with me, whether it was practical or not. I then had an experience that really opened my vision for my music. A professional musician who I really respected heard me play one night and walked up to me and said, you have artist potential. What? Up to that point, I was just trying not to suck. <laughs> So I went on a trip all by myself to think about my life and my music, and there in the mountains of Colorado, I declared for the second time, this time dressed a little better, that I would make music my career. Almost immediately upon returning, a friend introduced me to the owners of Cafe Forte. Trembling, I auditioned for them, but they took pity on me and hired me, and I've been playing there every Thursday ever since, and that's how I did it. <laughs> Thank you. Since then, I quit my full-time job, launched my own marketing company, met my mentor and now my duo partner, Glenn. We've been gigging all over Phoenix. And oh yeah, that open mic that I used to suck at, I now host it every Wednesday at Terroir Wine Pub right down the street. <laughs> I also got to spend a week with my grandmother at the hospital at the end of her life. I played and sang with her, trying to distract her from the pain that she was experiencing. This is the last picture I have with her. In January, my mentor Glenn took me to Los Angeles. Five months into my music career, I found myself playing for one of the top producers, Michael Blue, pictured on the right, in his studio. It was an incredible experience, and he really encouraged me to continue my musical path. When I returned to Phoenix, I met a local producer here who believed in me and my music, and he's working with me right now to record my first CD of originals, original songs. It's an amazing experience to see these songs that I've written in my condo come to life in the studio. I'm just at the beginning of this journey, but I have learned so much. As someone who's plagued with perfectionism, I've learned it's okay to suck. I've just got to get out there. I have filter out the negative people and thoughts and focus on the positive, and learned that also success is a team sport. But most importantly, I've learned that when a door opens for me, I've got to run through it. There's no time for fear, doubt, or hesitation. Music was always a someday activity to me, but my new mantra is, someday is today. Phoenix is an amazing city full of wonderfully talented musicians. Please get out there and support them. If you've got a dollar, throw it in their jar, and of course, use social media to flex your muscle and support the musicians you love. 
I don't know exactly where this journey is headed. A lot of it depends on you, the public. Musicians are invisible without fans. But whether you become a fan of my music or not, I just hope that my story helps inspire you to find and follow your passion and live your music. Thank you.